guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we thought we would do something a little bit different. Nate actually is gonna bring you guys a new recipe today. You came up with this on your own. I mean, this has been done, but you mentioned it over the weekend that you're like, I want stuffed peppers. Well, yeah, so we got the heads up about the Trader Joe's and yeah. you saw it on the haul whenever that was. A couple days ago, um, yeah. Okay, a couple days yeah. ago. I, our time, your time. It's okay. All, you know, it, it's, all... it's a blur. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, and I just got really kind of thinking about like what are some of the meals that ground beef? Yeah. You know, is in traditional stuff too. So stuffed bell peppers. Yeah. That was stuffed a good bell idea. peppers with tofu. Yes. I don't know if you got your texturing thing. It's right. not it. But just to prove that like impossible meat is just. A uh, true dead on it's fake so out. Good. It's I so wanted good. to go back to some more traditional yeah. style recipes and just kind of substitute and then make sure you're not throwing anything else silly in there. Right. And, and see if we can make them and see how they turn out because we haven't had the opportunity to do it really. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Now, with that said, and why he said impossible meat too, if you missed that haul, again, it was a Trader Joe's haul and they are now carrying the Beyond, or I'm sorry, I want to say Beyond because right. that's been the what you could get your hands <laughs> yeah. on, but the impossible ground beef now. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. It really yeah. is. It's a little eerie because it's, it's like real. <laughs> well, the, well, the picture that you put on Instagram. Yeah. It, yeah, Looks it's pretty like uh, crazy. Yeah. yeah, so uh, that's what inspired this. And I was like, you mm -hmm. know, I'm gonna just let Nate take over today and do his thing. So here is the mixture that we already created. So we're gonna rewind here a minute and show you how we did this. We started, of course, with the impossible meat. Brown that up. You will see very quickly that it does turn into a ground beef consistency very quickly. Yeah. Then you're gonna add some mushroom and I did the tops of the bell pepper that I had left from cutting these off on top and then you're going to add some rice to it and I just had that cooked up it's brown rice in our instant pot and then you're going to add your you can do salt and pepper a little bit of garlic powder whatever you want and then add a pasta sauce of choice once that is all softened up well and that is your mixture easy and, easy, easy. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I stole a bowl of this. <laughs> he did. And I just ate a bowl of he it. Did. And it. It's good all by itself. He did. Too, so. so that's as simple yeah. as it is. I think this is gonna mm. be a great meal prep idea for you guys. With that said, I've been like in the kitchen meal prepping today, like all morning, but it was kind of like my same old stuff, which we love. But I think this is a really, so I didn't really show you guys, but it's, this is gonna be a good one to change it up. Mm -hmm. You know, something you can meal prep still and something a little bit different, you know? Anyway, yeah. so he's gonna work on that, but because I'll get bored and, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And she can't trust me to just have a video on no, my own. No, that won't work. I, it's true. There's a lot of editing that goes into my messiness. <laughs> <laughs> but he's gonna work on that and we'll still walk you through like how to do this. We're gonna bake them and then we're gonna eat them. But on that same note, and again, coming from the Trader Joe's haul earlier this week, I had mentioned to you guys also, not only oh, did yeah. they get the Impossible Burger, they also have now the Cheeseless Cheesecake. So I already pulled one out a couple hours ago. It does say thaw in the refrigerator for two to two and a half hours uh, once thawed. Uh, consume within 48 hours. Well, I'm going to consume within 48 seconds. seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there's that. But again, not enough. So I also mentioned to you guys a couple weeks ago that I was doing a gift exchange, a vegan like food gift exchange with my good friend Chelsea here on YouTube. I will have all of her stuff linked below. And my package is here. I have not op I like, opened it just to uh, open it for this, but I have not looked into it at all. And I thought we could like see what's in here together and maybe try, maybe not try everything, but try some items in here too. Everything will be vegan. Try everything. We'll, tr we'll try everything. <laughs> <laughs> and it's lunchtime. It is truly lunch. I'm hungry. So yeah. it's time. See, I'm not preparing this for anybody else. So <laughs> the fingers and the nose <laughs> and me licking spoons. That's Nate. That's real world. <laughs> that is Nate. So that's what we're going to 
do today. And we just thought you guys could chill with us. This will give you again a recipe idea. Go over some uh, vegan friendly things you can find in the store. It's like an all in one. We don't normally do like this kind of thing. We have like just taste test, was, just recipe. We, we haven't done like a hangout no. thing in a, in a minute. It's time. In a minute. It is time. So go ahead. Right. I hope you guys enjoy. Please thumbs up. We appreciate it. Thumbs up. Yes. Right here, bell. Yes, all, all, all the things, all the things. Hit it twice. Okay. <laughs> and again, do check out Chelsea's channel, and she is going to be doing the box that I sent her uh, also for you guys. So see what vegan items I sent over her way and what she thinks. But sure. anyway. So the bell peppers, they're, they're just kind of hollowed out, tops cut off. Like I said, we yes. use the tops in here. I'm going to start off by putting just a little bit of cheese in the bottom. So what cheese options do you have? So we have the Good Planet Food Mozzarella Shreds. This is the one from Aldi, and honestly, I really like it. Okay, and we got yeah. the Dea Mozzarella Shreds. Don't love it, to be honest, but it's not the worst thing. It's not, but I don't love it cold. I'll say that, but I think in this it could be okay, too. Right, right, right. But I'm just saying, that's just my... my little thing there yeah and we're just gonna put this in the bottom just so if there's any cracks or the bottom does crack all the moisture yeah. doesn't go out because the big thing about the bell peppers is you want them to be moist when you eat them that's the reason why Say you put them moist that's the reason why why you don't put a ton of sauce because you don't want it to be saucy but you want it to actually be you do know, your as, thing girl. as you're eating it it's awesome so i'm gonna start with the dead because i think that this guy will be better for a topping <laughs> I hope that makes the cut. Girl, okay, I'm gonna butcher this. No ciolata, no ciolata, go with me. Dairy free hazelnut spread with cocoa. So this is like the Nutella. I can grab a graham cracker. I can grab a spoon. Oh. Ugh. Damn, look at the consistency mm -hmm. on that too. Holy, holy. it's calorie free oh look no calories <laughs> <laughs> I sent her actually some candy and I, I told you guys that uh, uh, if it's gifted or free it's calorie free well yeah so it's what it is Jesus look at that huh <laughs> oh <laughs> Ooh. oh Oh, that's good. Yeah. That is good. She is. She, she is. knows. She's she knows. Wow. Speaking of which, too, guys, not only is she vegan, but her husband's vegan, too, and her kids. She has two boys that are very young in age, too, and she will share on her Instagram and her channel um, different meal ideas for, like, kid-friendly ones, too. So that is delicious. Oh. Yes, trouble. Big sinful Ooh. trouble. <laughs> this is a win. Thank you. This is awesome. These are like loved. Kids love these apparently, but you guys know me and the squeezy pouch. <laughs> I don't do it. But the Chia Squeeze Vitality Snack Mama Chia. But yes, if you follow her, she can definitely give you some good meal ideas for kids too. Look at you go. Ooh, teas. I, I sent her some teas too. We're switching. Butterscotch Blondie. Yes, ma'am. Vanilla bean macaroon glazed lemon loaf. This is the one. <gasps> <gasps> Awesome. This is the one. This is so, so good, you guys. The Tazo Dessert Delights Glazed Lemon Loaf. Tastes straight up like the lemon loaf from Starbucks. Just saying. It's so good. Yeah, we have to order a whole bunch of that, man. Yeah. In the winter, we were flying through like two of those yeah, a day. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh. Uh, vanilla bean macaron, also very, very good. Butterscotch Blondie, I have not tried that one, but I'm sure it is great. But yes, the Dessert Delights line um, from Tazo is amazing. The traditional medicinal is 99 tea. We got some yogi tea, some stash tea. Ooh, gummies. That a girl. <laughs> yes. Ooh. I'm glad this did not melt in our crazy heat. 100% pure. Uh, that brand is amazing for cosmetics and it's a cherry lip balm. Thank you. Love that. And we got a made good chocolate chip granola mini bar. That brand is really good actually. Yum Earth little fruit snacks you might think i would say saving that for the kid i'm not it's for me it's for me it's for me so got a few of those the justin's vanilla almond butter is awesome uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> oh man the kiddo's gonna love these 
Yep, <laughs> the Annie's Bunny Grahams birthday cake. He loves these. He loves the chocolate ones as well. These are awesome. We've totally had these before. You can find these at Sprouts, um, I think Whole Foods even. Annie's brand is pretty like mm -hmm. easy to find. Okay, so are you stuffing those like really, really? Um, yeah. It's right. That's okay to do that? Tight. Okay. So what happens is in these, or at least what I think is the best way to do you push them so that there's no air gaps in between the mixture okay. and the bell pepper because if you do that that's when the bell pepper is like losing its moisture instead of it losing its moisture and it evaporating it loses its moisture and then you get these big pockets of like water in there when you cut through it and then it just gets all soupy so this is just yeah. a way for it to stay a little bit more contained love it she wrote me a note i didn't see it till now but yeah she's like the chocolate spread she thought this stuff is 100 percent heaven it is True. True. <laughs> and the Mama Chia pouch stuff. She said, "Because what is a vegan snack box without a devil pouch from hell?" Because <laughs> she knows. I was gonna actually mention. I'm she like, knows. she probably just wanted yeah. us to film us trying that, yep. just to get, just to get me throwing up or something. <laughs> I don't do the pouches. I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you, Chelsea. That's awesome. Moving along. Do your thing, do your thing. Do Ooh. your thing. Crispy fruit by Crisp Green All Pineapple. Ooh. Ooh. So I have the weird thing you guys know already, many of you. Oh, they're like the freeze dried ones. Oh my gosh, I love pineapple, I love the smell of it. It's so good. Oh wow. Mm. That smells intense. Oh. Well, well, it's no. okay to share. No. You know what it reminds me of? And I haven't had them in so, so long, because mm. unfortunately they're not vegan. The marshmallows from Lucky Charms. They're the, the hell? They're the same consistency. Oh, dang. So good, right? Oh. But I can't have fresh pineapple. It hurts my tongue. Baby tongue. Baby tongue. I've got the baby tongue for a minute here. Yeah, but if it's dried or, you know, dehydrated, delicious. These are good. Look at you. All right, you're going to be pissed. I need more mixture. Why? Oh, we didn't make more. That was all of it. What's wrong? Where are you missing? Well, I was going to... Uh, make it mound? Yeah, I was going to make it mound. I... Hey, you know what you could put on it? I'm going to come through for you right Tell here. Tell me, girl. In the fridge, we have the... Um, we have a little container left of that chorizo... Um, the little crumbles from when I put it on the pizzas. And then you could sprinkle the top with like a sausage. Okay. You're welcome. I, I, thank you. She packed everything so perfect. Didn't you just throw all your shit in the box? I pretty much did. Chosen Foods, I have not tried this one. Lemon garlic dressing and marinade. That looks so good. Lemon garlic, yes. Yeah. Yes, we will totally try this soon. Thank you. So I'm just making a little divot in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then that's what we're gonna put some cheese in and we're gonna put those crumbles on top. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm gonna grab the crumbles. I'm just gonna, I'll just be here doing nothing. Quit eating all the good stuff. Oh my god. Ooh, what brand is that? Made good. They do. They made it good. They made it good. That's awesome. Yeah, these are the, um, what's the brand? It's a seitan actually. Mm -hmm. And I just have some left over and it's like a chorizo flavor. So good. Yeah. It's really, really good. I got it at Target. It was on my last Target haul. But yeah, why not? Don't some people make these too with like a sausage typically too? So well, Yeah, they there actually you go. use um, well, it's a, it, it's an Italian dish, so like linguisa, right, would be something where you have a spicier sausage or something like that. It, it's traditional in these as well, so this makes perfect sense. I, I came through. You did, baby. <gasps> mm. I'm so hooked on like jams and spreads. Crofters, never heard of this brand. Crofters Premium Spread Morello oh. Cherry Organic. You gotta remember, she's she's across the. So that's the thing, yeah. She's in like Virginia, and we're in California. If you did not know where we were, and uh, so yeah, I'm like, well, maybe we can get our hands on like some different things. But Chelsea, if you're watching. Where did you get this? Hey, hey, both. Where's it from? Canada. 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 I've just not. I don't feel like I've seen this in store. But I'm excited to try it out. I have just been on such a kick of spreads. And you guys know, I like to pair it up with the uh, vegan cream cheese from Trader Joe's. I put a little bit of the jam and a little bit of that in crackers. No, oh, look at you. Now, I will say, uh, in my opinion for this cheese, so far from what I've learned, maybe don't make it too um, 
thick? Too thick because it doesn't, it's not real, so it doesn't melt down like you might want. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. But it was good, it was. Hey, Key Lime Pie, the safe and fair food company, granola, granola, I love granola, there's a bunch sitting right there. Um, <laughs> nut free, ancient grains, vegan. Nice, I've never seen this one either. I know. Yeah, That's little good. bits of delicious, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, jeez. Let's just get it right here. <laughs> right on. I love the texture of it. Ooh. I love crunchy, crunchy, clustery granola. That is me. That is good. Where is it from? Oh, Chelsea. Of Chicago. That is really, really good. It's like hearty. It's like mm -hmm. sweet but hearty. Mm -hmm. It's got like pie flavor. That's really I awesome. I think she said, this might have been the product she said though too, that she has an apple pie flavor too. So we're gonna look for this because I wonder if Thrive would have it. That's have the it. thing I was thinking, like mm -hmm. we need to go jump on Thrive and that looks that's really, really good. Okay, so what do you gotta do now? That's it? So Oh this is so cute. Go ahead. Alright, so I'm gonna take some sauce. Okay. And then I'm gonna just put sauce on the bottom of the pan. Mm hmm So the bottoms of the bell peppers don't burn against the glass. That little dog. Oh. Well, it's funny, I think we messed around with the oven, but I didn't preheat it. This guy. Look at this! With like little dog on it. Oh man. Aw, this is so cute! I hope that they start letting us use our own bags again. Because we're still in that. They don't let us. This is so cute. Thank you. I can see the kiddo using it too to pack up his stuff to go to the grandparents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. I see that. Yep. We've got here the tofu miso ramen by Koyo. Uh, I haven't had ramen in so long. Made with organic noodles. We'll have to try that out. Enlightened. Love this brand. Bada bean, bada boom. You're Get welcome. it? Buffalo wing crunchy broad beans. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Do y'all thing. Do y'all thing. What you gonna do, girl? So, so how long are you gonna probably have to bake that for? I'm thinking we're gonna check on them in like 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. And I'm not gonna cover it. I don't want it to be soupy. No. So I'm not gonna cover it. I'm gonna make sure the top doesn't burn, but it's only 350, so it really shouldn't, like, nothing should burn on there. But I do want that bell pepper to soften up a little bit. I want a lot of the moisture to kind of kick out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. These are delicious. I think it's about time to have some cheesecake. <clears throat> I got the fork, baby. So, I guess you can pop it. Yeah. So, just flip it. Mm. This guy. Just slap it. You gotta slap the cheeks. I think you can get a cut around the rim. The the what? The rim. It's supposed to pop it out first before I'm thawing, but it's fine. So, what would you guess this is made out of? This again from Trader Joe's. Um, almond milk. Or cashew or something cashew, like that. Some, some sort of nut. Lima bean. But I heard, yeah, look at the like, it's not, someone asked me, is it gluten free? It is not gluten free, but I have heard it's very, very good. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put some of that jelly on it after we try this too. Cause you know, Shit, yeah. I, I've done this before. Um, <laughs> all right, so, but lima bean, and I guess it's very, very good, very, very sweet, but does have a uniqueness to it that like comes through of that flavor. That's what I've I heard. Like, I like the smell. Yeah, and then there's the crust at the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see that. And let's just give it a whirl. Um, the texture's very good. I will tell you that. Doesn't have a strong smell. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. I don't taste lima bean at all. That is delicious. Damn, that's pretty good. I mean, I like beans anyway, though, so I wouldn't be mad at it. That's... But, right? That, that, that's good. That damn good. <laughs> wow. And you get two in the box, okay. and they're only $4. So, I mean... The crust is good. It's really good. And I feel like, you know, for, again, a true... Give me that jelly right there. And then we'll put that chocolate on it, too. Huh? Mm. Oh, girl. It's all creamy. Look, we, uh, no... we share germs here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
put the chocolate on that other side. <laughs> I see your All right, and I raise you. That is delicious. I just heard that someone said it has like a unique flavor to it. And I don't feel like it does. Like, mm -hmm. no, it's, I think it's, it's good. good. I've had the Daya ones before and they're pretty good too, but oh, get it, get it, get it, son. <laughs> I am. That is so good, right? Oh my God. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If you want your own, dip your entire <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That is good. This jelly is delicious too. It's like the cherry filling. Even the crust is so on point on this little thing. Mm -hmm. That is a great little treat. And you know what? 300 calories for the whole thing. Let me just say, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. That is a perfect little dessert. Once in a while, I wouldn't change a thing. Like, mm -mm. that's good. Chelsea and I agree too. Mm. I think sometimes vegan in general gets a bad rap of like, it has to be always super clean oh, or that's all. Good. No, and that there's always just that, like, you, you know, you, all you do is eat like a rabbit. Uh uh. I don't eat like a rabbit. I don't eat like a rabbit. I should eat more like a rabbit. <laughs> No, but she's the same way. She's like, mm. no, let's eat really good food and then let's eat really good food too. <laughs> you know? There's a balance. Oh man. That was amazing. All right, we will check back in when our peppers are done. We will try one out. It looks good, it smells good. It smells good. So again, you'll kind of probably see, I mean, I don't know how well you'll see it, but this cheese definitely is not the best for melting, but it's it's not bad. It's a flavor. Yeah, I've made this for that pizza I made like mm -hmm. not too long ago and it was good. I can tell you it smells really good. Yeah, it's soft. It's got a little crunch still at the bottom, I would say. But otherwise, ooh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of that melty cheese there on the bottom, too. Yeah, that melted a lot better mm -hmm. being under there. But if you can kind of see that. And it's steaming through the middle, which means it got heated through. So it should have combined well. Will you try that habanero salsa for everyone? No. Someone requested it. I won't ever try it, ever. Not even for you. Or you. Or, or you. Or you. <laughs> I just spat that <laughs> Or you. That's <laughs> good. No, habanero, get the <laughs> out of here, by the way. <laughs> I, uh, I said I would switch the lids. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> I would have been so pissed. <laughs> I would have been so hot. I'm gonna get some of that cheese. I'm gonna try it. Uh, Even though it doesn't go together. Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese on the bottom. Yeah, the bottom like totally melted. I don't wanna see. I'll do it for you guys. It's probably not even that bad. This is also uh, Trader Joe's habanero extra hot ghost pepper salsa. Jesus. Don't hit me with it. I shouldn't even be allowed in my home. <laughs> I don't want it. Will you try it for everyone? Put like, all, okay, I'll- No, I'm not messing up my food with this garbage hot- <laughs> let, no. let me just do a little bit. You a can do bit. however much you feel you need to do. There. That's insane. Do it. Abs take it. <laughs> take it. Take it. Do it for everybody. They love you. We love you. Ooh, you come say choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Get away from me. Do it. I don't want to. It's not even that bad. You're fine. Pro Ooh, hi! It's hot! It's hot! Hurry! It's hot! Go! You dummy. Go! 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 Love you! It's pretty spicy. <laughs> Do you taste it? Is it good? Okay. <laughs> you crying? That's hot. His <laughs> <laughs> cheeks are getting red. Are you crying? Oh shit, his eyes are. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's all red over here. It's not that bad. It just doesn't. <laughs> It just doesn't taste good. It does. No, it's, it's just, actually it's good. just, 
just this hot, stingy sensation that happens in your mouth. There's no flavor. It's good. No. You're, you're wrong. You, you okay? took something good and you made it not. You okay? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And those already in You're sweaty. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. Look at your eyes. That was too hot. Hey, are you okay, man? <laughs> Let's see. Ready? It's stupid hot. There's no point to it. It's not that bad. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> well, there's an idea for you, my friends, to do mm. a different little take on meal prep. Doesn't always have to be mm -hmm. the, the basics we all stick to, although they work too. It's <laughs> mm -hmm. kind of what I do, but it's really good. You did good? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today. Just something a little bit different. Get it. Get it. Hope you guys have a great, great day. Thank you so, so much, as always, for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.